guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Ranch and Sway Cabs coming at you with yet another video, and I am so excited for this one. Woo! I am just ecstatic to hear that Disney is in such a bad position that they have to sell off so many things! Or potentially sell off so many things. It's actually not confirmed at the moment, but it is certainly something special that I am excited to talk about with you guys. As you can see from the headline, Disney to downsize, CEO Bob Iger prepping to sell Disney Entertainment. Woohoo! Okay, could we be watching Mickey Mouse on Apple TV soon? Disney, a bastion of diverse content. In 1937, Walt Disney Pictures made history with the release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Yes, oh my gosh, seven dwarves, not seven people who look completely random and out of character. Not seven magical random creatures or traveling gypsies or bandits or whatever the heck they're being cast as in the new movie. And Snow White, not Snow Brown. <laughs> I'm sorry. This movie, <laughs> that movie is just going to be a train wreck. Uh, but the Walt Disney's company's influence goes beyond the creation of iconic characters like Mickey Mouse and a bunch of others. It extends to a globally acclaimed portfolio of international theme parks, including the original Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, and the renowned Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, which encompasses a Magic Kingdom Park, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Disney's Hollywood Tokyo Disney Resort. I wonder what that one's called. The Shanghai Disney Resort. Oh, that's pretty boring. The Hong Kong Disneyland Resort captivating guests from around the world. Okay. And pretty basic information. I want to get to the juicy stuff. The Disney Media Conundrum. <laughs> Looks like we're getting there, folks. It Looks like we're getting there. After the inter internal, I said in Disney. <laughs> oh man, I gotta slow down and actually read this stuff. After the internal Disney kerfuffle last year, when the CEO Bob Chapek, himself Bob Iger's successor, was ousted in favor of Bob Iger once again, the now Disney head appears to be prepping for the company to make some big changes. While JPEG focused on the expansion of Disney's media empire through the significant building of their very own streaming service, Disney Plus, which has significantly lost them money, with a large slate of Disney Plus originals centered around the Marvel Studios MCU and Lucasfilm Star Wars content, it seems that Bob Iger is going to head in an almost opposite direction. With the mainline Star Wars movies on hiatus and Kevin Feige significantly cutting back on Marvel Cinematic Universe outings, it be it Marvel television or theatrical releases, Disney is looking at a rather different future. Seeing as Hollywood is more or less the current WGA and SAG-AFTRA, uh, the Screen Actors Guild and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, strikes and reeling from some significantly poor box office performances like Disney's recent Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, the Warner Bros. Discovery CEO... Where did I, where did I go? Oh, the Warner Bros. Discovery's DC Studios outings, The Flash 2023, it feels like the film and television industry is on the edge of a precipice. Yes, indeed it is. And that precipice being, of course, make good stories or you're going to go broke! Very simple, really. I think that people need to understand something oh, so simple, so simple, yes, indeed. Perhaps in response to these trends, or maybe in spite of them, it also appears that the Disney CEO, Bob Iger, is sending the company and industry up for some even bigger changes. According to Bloomberg, Iger is looking to downsize after building one of the biggest media and entertainment companies in the world and is prepping the Walt Disney Company for a yard sale of sorts in order to see it through. Previously reported on NL Previously we reported on analyst discussions about the potential sale of a significant portion of Disney over to Apple. Now Idgar has currently put roughly a third of the company up for sale this week and declared Disney's linear TV assets non core. This is inclusive of TV networks, ABC, FX, and Freeform. Meanwhile, Iger has also mentioned that the company is looking for a strategic partner for sports channel ESPN, although being unwilling to sell the whole thing. 
On top of all that, Disney is also already looking to sell or restructure its TV and streaming business in India, which is all extremely telling to the Disney CEO's next move away from the seemingly constant expansion of the Disney empire. Interestingly, streaming rival Netflix has simultaneously reported its best quarter of domestic growth in years, with investors and analysts, or analysts as I like to call them, excited about the well-publicized and publicly lamented password-sharing crackdown, leading to the hopeful addition of more solo Netflix account sales. I can tell you this much right now, I will never have a solo Netflix account. I will never pay for Netflix in my life again, just like I'll never pay for Disney+. Plus. Walt Disney's... Well, with Disney's, not Walt Disney, sorry. Every time I see a W word in front of Disney, I'm like, Walt, yes, ha <laughs> ha, I am smart. No, I'm not. Oh, that's part of my handle on Instagram, not so smart, underscore 17, woohoo. Okay, with Disney Plus's rival to see a potential uptick in users, it's no wonder that Iger is looking to make some big, albeit surprising moves. Bloomberg also reports that the list of interested parties for properties like ESPN would include the tech giant Apple, with the added note that there have been many rumors about the possibility of Iger selling Disney, all of it, Disney, to Apple. Rumors have long swirled that Iger will end up selling all of Disney to Apple. It's hard to imagine Iger selling Disney to anyone. He was always a builder, not a seller. Oh, oh my gosh, he was always a builder, not a seller. Then why is it that he's thinking of selling? Ah! Maybe it's because he's disingenuous. But Bob the Builder... <laughs> Bob the Builder, that's a funny... Bob the Builder is doing a lot more cutting this time around. Nevertheless, we can only wait to see what happens. The thought that Bob the Builder Iger could even be considering selling Disney is definitely a wild one, but apparently not out of the realm of possibility. Now the question is whether Apple also wants to go to war with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. And that's the article from Inside the Magic about the potential of Bob Iger getting rid of Disney and selling it to Apple. Will it happen, folks? Will it not happen? Who's to say? I'm not. I mean, I am to say. I think I would really like to see it if Disney got into such a pickle that they had to sell their entire company to Apple so they could stay afloat. That would be hilarious. That would be absolutely funny to me. I would, I'd be, I'd be laughing so hard for so many days just thinking about the absurdity of, their, of how dumb they were being in the process of making everything about identity politics and sexualizing young characters for the purpose of indoctrinating children, only for them to then have to crawl to some major tech media giant, which is only as famous as it is because of capitalism, and beg them to buy their stuff so that Apple can take control and take the heat. That is hilarious to me, and I can't wait to see what happens. If that is indeed what happens... I'm going to be laughing my pants off for like three days at least. I, I mean, <laughs> it's just funny thinking about right now. I mean, come on. They've put themselves into such a bad position. They might have to sell it to an organization and a company that they're, they have been trashing the nature of for years because of how much they're trashing capitalism. <laughs> it's just, it's such, a, it's such ironic. It's so ironic, man. It's <laughs> ooh, ooh, poetic. Oh, man. All right. Well, this is a happy video for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, share this video out there with your friends, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a video that I upload and check me out on my different socials, including my Rumble, which you can find in the links below. And if not, go to rumble.com and look up in the search bar, capital R-A-N-T-S-I-T, -S all one word, no space, that is Rancid capital R-A-N-T-S-I-T. -S I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.